Hello? Hey there? Hello, hello, hello. Dustin here with another video. We're taking a look at the taking a look at the Pseudotac ST900 today. Let's get in the video. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and point out the fact that I am using a separate microphone other than my Procaster. And the reason for this is the Pseudotech microphone is a cardioid microphone, whereas the Procaster is a broadcast style dynamic microphone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about this microphone and why I chose to pick this one up. So if most of you don't know, I've been into a lot of audio and visual equipment lately and the microphone thing is something that I've recently picked up on and I've been more curious about. And most recently, I've been more interested in cardioid microphones, condenser microphones, and dynamic microphones. Now, most of these are pretty much gonna give you the same results. It's just there's different ways and different things that these things have to them. And I wanted to try a couple different ones to see how the audio differences sound. Especially being that I use a lot of my microphones for keyboard recordings and audio voiceover work, I think that it's important to find yourself a good budget-friendly microphone that's going to fit your needs. And one of the reasons why I decided to pick this one up is because it is a very budget-friendly kit with all the things you need to get started with audio recording. First off, let's take a look at the microphone and what are some of the features that come in the box as well as some of the features that the microphone itself has with it. In the box comes your desk mount, your boom arm, your USB-B to USB-A cable, your shock mount, as well as your two pop filters. Also along with that comes your wire cable management with your microphone cable. These can be pretty useful if you're trying to keep your cables clean and more organized on your boom arm. First what you want to do is go ahead and mount your desk mount onto your desk. Place the boom arm into the desk mount. Once the boom arm is placed into the desk mount you're able to go ahead and twist on the shock mount to the boom arm which is pretty simple with using the threads that are already there once the shock mount is mounted onto the boom arm you're able to screw in the microphone into the threads of the shock mount using the threads that are built into the microphone as well as the shock mount you can go ahead and plug in your usb from your pc to your microphone after all of that is done you want to go ahead and mount your pop filter either the foam or the clamp mounted pop filter onto your microphone boom arm and you're all set to start recording your voice and audio. Taking a look at the box, pretty much all you need to know about this microphone is pretty much set up on the box itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read through that as well. Also keep in mind that I'm not an audio expert. I simply just started getting into this as a hobby and I'm just trying to share my hobbies with you guys. The microphone core is a diameter of 60 millimeter condenser. The polar pattern is a cardioid polar pattern. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 16 kilohertz. The sampling rate is 192 kilohertz by 24 bit. The sensitivity is negative 38 dB to negative 3 dB. The maximum SPL is 120 dB. The working electrical current is less than 50 milliamps. The working voltage is 5 volts. The LED indicator light when green is unmute, when red it is muted. Also keep in mind that this microphone does have a button muting function. The best thing I find about this microphone currently is the fact that you get all the things that you need in order to start recording your own voiceover audio or video audio recording. Some of the cool features that this microphone has is that on the microphone you actually have your own muting function which is basically a button built into the microphone that you click and then when you unclick it's unmute. It does have an LED indicator which tells you when it is and when it isn't muted. Also on the microphone you have a headphone out so that you can hear what it sounds like as you're recording audio. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see how this sounds with some keyboard audio, some music audio, and some voice audio. So let's get into the tests right now. I just, I just want to take a second to apologize for this musical intro recording. I'm the worst. Welcome.
That was the worst song you've ever heard. Good night. All right, so overall, the microphone is very good. It's it's not horrible. It's not amazing, it, but it does a great job of picking up audio and fitting the needs of all of the audio needs that you need. It's a definitely a good option if you're planning to use something for a podcast, for uh, streaming, for game streaming, for r- gaming audio, like such as Discord. It's a great option for all of those things. I think it's definitely a good option for instrument and musical vocal recording. You definitely want to consider if you do plan to do any type of recording with an environment to always treat your environment just so that you can have the best audio quality. The condenser microphones seem to pick up a lot more noise within the background, such as computer fans and lights and things like that. But overall, it does a great job at picking up the things that are closest to it. So I would definitely recommend picking up and checking out the Pseudotac ST900 as a first budget microphone or a long-term microphone. It's got all the things you need to get started with budget audio recording. Well guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you guys like it. I hope it's not too long and uh, (laughs) I hope some way I have helped you in this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did not, either way, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.